Hi everybody, I'm Rachel Frank, also known as Tiny Geek Crafter, and today I'm going to show you how to slip and knit beads into your knitted work. Uh, this method is for when you have beads that are pre-strung. What do you guys have? Hi everybody, I'm Rachel Frank, also known as Tiny Geek Crafter from Cattail Knits. And today I'm going to show you how to slip and knit beads into your knitted project. And this is a technique that you use when you have beads that are pre-strung and you're slipping them in and knitting them in to lock them in place. This is a technique that you would use uh, for projects such as my Black Mamba bracelet, which you can get the pattern on Ravelry um, or in my um, shop, which is at cattailknitting.com. So I'm knitting it right now into an I-cord, but you would use the same technique for knitting it into a project that was a regular knitting that called, you, called for you slipping and knitting the beads on. So I'm going to knit um, two, bead, or two stitches, just plain, on my I-cord. Then I'm going to slip up two beads because I want to have two beads in the middle and I'm going to slip them so that they fit snug right here up against the last stitch I just knit and it's in between the last stitch I knit and the next one I'm going to knit and I'm just gonna kind of brace them there with my index finger of my left hand for a moment while I slip my needle through the next stitch. I'm just holding it there now with my right finger. Knit. And there you go. Now those two beads are locked in place. So let me knit the last stitch on there. Okay. So you can see that now we have knit these two beads right into the stitch. It's as simple as that. So let's go ahead and we'll do that again. And now it'll be a little bit easier if we're doing something where they're stacking like this because we already have that little gap right there. So we'll go ahead and I'll knit the two stitches again. And I'm going to do two beads again here. So I'm going to take two beads, slide them up, and place them right here, snug against the last stitch I knit, nestle between that one and the next one I'm going to knit. And I'm just going to hold them in place with my finger. and take the stitch off and they're locked in place. And now we have worked two stacks of beads. But you could do the beads in different places. It doesn't always have to be stacked. So I could take this, I could knit one and then maybe I want to slide one bead up. I would snug it in between just like we did before. And knit it in place. And maybe I'll knit one more. Slide another one up. Snug it in between those two stitches. And knit. Alright, so now I have those beads now knit in those stitches. So whenever you're doing a pattern, it will tell you what you need to do. 
It will tell you when to slip beads, how many beads to slip, and that way you'll know. So this would be um, a slip two beads for these two right here. And then here would be like a knit one, slip one bead, knit two, slip one bead, knit one. Where before when we did here, we knit two, slipped two beads, and then knit two. So your pattern will tell you what to do, and now you understand what it means when it tells you to slip and knit the beads and how to knit them and lock them in place.